I just wanted to follow up with some of you guys about um, some of the comments you've made about hair loss. Um, I've experienced some of it. Uh, not too much right now. I mean, I don't have any like bold spots per se, but um, I do have a little bit of thinning like on the top. Uh, let's see if I can get in better light here. Um, so yeah, so it looks kind of dark in the camera, but you can see it just a little bit, sort of, it's like patch that starts in the back here, it sort of works its way forward. Uh, anyway, I've been on T for uh, about, well, it'll be six years in March, and uh, it's, I don't know, I'm in the shower sometimes, and kind of see them come out you know in my hand it's kind of unusual to see your your hair coming out um for you know no real medical reason other than just natural sort of uh side effect of the testosterone anyway it's something that uh you know millions of men go through uh, all over the world so you know we're definitely not alone here but anyway so i've kind of been of the sort to, um, you know, not really want to take other medications, um, you know, or, or some sort of, you know, treatment or something like that. I tend to want to, you know, be more natural and just, you know, let the body respond to whatever, uh, it might encounter, you know, naturally. Um, however, it's a lot, um, it's a lot different to say that or have that feeling, um, when you have a full head of hair, which I used to, uh, when I was saying these things and so watching your hair come out and trying to yeah, you can't at all sit in the camera, but uh, Yeah up close like I've got this sort of weird uh, Patch right here not really I don't know. It's not really a patch. It's an area that's thinning faster than the surrounding areas So I'm like trying to comb like doing like a quasi comb over so I can appreciate now uh, those older gentlemen who have like you know, hair that's like that long, just like four or five strands, and they're trying to like, yeah. So anyway, so I went out and um, I bit the bullet, and I bought Rogaine. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Um, basically, it's you know, it's just like they say in the commercials. You square a little dab, you know, on your fingertips, uh, rub it around the areas. Um, now they do say. Let's see here. They do say that it's only proven uh, to work. Well, number one, um, they've really mainly tested uh, white Cauc Caucasian men uh, in these clinicals. So if you're of a different ethnic background uh, with a different hair type, texture, you know, it may not work for you. Um, but anyway, they provide you with this little, and you can get all this stuff, I'm sure, online. Uh, they provide you with a chart there so you can see, you know, what they consider to be, you know, different stages of hair loss. Uh, so, so yeah, they do just say that it works uh, in certain areas, uh, being like the crown, you know, that circle that starts. So I have a little bit of that in the back. I mean, it's, it's definitely all still hair there. I don't have any, you know, actual scalp showing, but it's definitely thinning out. Um, and I can see where the pattern is going to start to emerge if I don't do anything. I'll be 30 in April, and I imagine by the time I'm 35 or so, you know, definitely a ball spot and maybe some out through here. Uh, it's thinning on the sides. I mean, I know that I'm just, you know, I'm being very preemptive here, but uh, my grandfather was bald, so I know that it runs in the family on uh, my mom's side. Uh, but again, it also has to do with your, you know, your genetic makeup, um, stress factors, there are a lot of things that are involved in hair loss. Uh, so it's not just, you know, one thing or the other, but anyway, so I'm trying the Rogaine out. Um, I know that the areas that I want to see hair growth in particular, uh, I'd like to see some of my hair come back on the sides here. And yeah, again, that little like spot in the front and like, it's, it's really thin through here. Uh, I'd like to see that come out. That would be great. No, not come out. That's not what I meant. Like emerge more, you know, hair growth there. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say come out. Um, but one of the things I did read about the Rogaine, um, is that within the first like two weeks of use, 
they do, uh, you know, you should expect to see some hair loss. Uh, their reason for that, uh, as they explain, is, um, you know, they're trying this chemical, the uh, minoxidil, is trying to remove the, you know, more fragile hairs, uh, dead hairs and things like that, so that new, good, healthy hair can emerge. So if you guys are using that um, or decide to need to do, I haven't seen any. Uh, I've only been using it for well, what, two days, three days, something like that. Uh, so I don't know, but but anyway, if you see that, then that's that's the cause. Uh, but then after that, you know, two week or so period, you know, it should start to really see something if you're going to see anything at all. Um, they said 85% basically of white males that they tested. Um, I think there are 350 something in the test uh, altogether. But anyway, they experienced you know some sort of hair regrowth uh, or or at least a stability. Um, you don't always regrow it, but it may not continue to fall out. So that's great. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this for. They say if you don't see anything in four months, you're not gonna see anything. Uh, some people start seeing growth uh, as early as two months into it. So, so this bottle um, is a one month supply. It's 60 grams. Uh, I don't know why that's important to you guys, but anyway, uh, so one month supply, it was 30 bucks. So anyway, um, so we'll give it a go and see. I hope that uh, you guys had a great New Year's.